What about the... How would you characterise the difference in style of government between you and Malcolm Fraser? I think uh, Mr Fraser's intent on working out now uh, two of his earliest impressions. One was that uh, the country's prosperity depends on selling rural products to England. Uh, and secondly, uh, it uh, depends on investment uh, from America. And those are his abiding, consistent principles. That is, you protect foreign owners of industries here, and at all costs, you preserve your European market, uh, markets. Uh, is there any, uh, any other change in style, too? I mean, um, what about his lifestyle at the lodge and that sort of thing? Has that changed since uh, you were there? Oh, it's much grander than our day. I mean, we had a plain bitumen drive. <laughs> <laughs> he tore it up and replaced it with marble chips. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but it, uh, also, he's made a few changes inside. Uh, I'm told, I haven't used it, uh, one of the <laughs> smallest rooms in the house uh, used to be a music room, that's what it was called. It was where you put the records uh, on for uh, the uh, system in other parts of the house. And I remember when uh, the Holtz took over from the Menzies, it wasn't working. So they sent the equipment off to be repaired and came back, and they found it would only play 98s. 78s? Uh, 78, I'm no. sorry. <laughs> and then, then uh, when the Frasers took over, they had none of that nonsense. They converted it into a, a toilet. Practical people. Yeah, practical people. Yeah, have they got music in the toilet? Pragmatic. Pragmatic, yes. Like